Hey guys, it's Just Lumen again, but today I'm not the one doing the tutorial. Today the tutorial will be done by my sister. So, here you go, sis. Okay, today you will need your loom and your hook. You will also need a couple pants. Okay, so what are we going to we are going to make a flower charm. Woo! I've already made three of my own. They don't look like flowers at first, but then here it is. There's the middle of the flower and all the petals are the colored parts. Okay, so, you should grab your loom and grab a band of any color. So, I'm going to choose yellow today. So, you will start like a starburst. <clears throat> With the arrows pointing down. And then you'll make a top draw of an alligator. Then you will make the bottom draw of an alligator. There's your alligator shape. And then you continue to do that all the way, all the way around. <clears throat> Once you are done going all the way around, you will have to. Um, make a cap band. The cap band, you see, will have to be looped three times. <clears throat> so, with the loom, three times is made like this. One, two, Three. There you have it. Now, time to use your hook. You will have to reach under and grab the band, <clears throat> put it back to where it had originally come from. So eventually, it will loop back as if you were making a part of a chain. Now, you should do that all the way around. And when you're done, wait for the next step. The next step won't be how you would usually do it on a starburst. You will not connect it to the bracelet if you don't want to. And so you have to wait so that you should do it correctly. Unless you have watched this before and you're watching it again because you forgot, then you can probably skip ahead. So there's your little circle, like a sunshine. And now you will need your hook. Just toss it away. So. Now 
Now you have to use some finger work. So you're gonna have to <coughs> make slip knots all the way around. So you will need to stretch it up three pegs if you want to be really stretchy and able to go on everything. I mean absolutely everything. So you will do that all the way around, but with the side, with the side ones right here, you will have to stretch it four pegs. See, one, two, a three, a four. Now, you will do the same on the other side. And you can make these anytime you want. They are very simple and they are for beginners. But everyone can do it. If they want to. Like if you're in advance, you can do it too. Just because it's good for beginners doesn't mean that advanced people can't do it. So, once you are done, you will have to hold it in the shape that it's in for at least five seconds. If you hold it there for five seconds, then it will be absolutely stretchy and it can go absolutely on everything. So now it looks like that. So five, four, three, two, one. Then pull back, let go. 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 Pull back and let go. Well, there you go. Nice and all over the place. You have it right there. It can also work as Ta-da! A ring. Or you can arrange it around. Say, you can pull it all the way over here. Like that. Or different places. So that's how you make the flower charm. Now, you can put your loom away or leave it out if you are going to do more stuff. Okay, so bye.